All right, so we got Alien Rogue Incursion story reveal trailer. Let's get to it. Let's go. Let's get right into it, man. We all know I love the Alien Isolation series. Oh, I don't even know if this is actually a part of it, but we'll Welcome see. Welcome to Pradan. Carver should be just ahead. I just hope he's still the man we came to rescue. Do you have reason to believe he isn't? It's on VR, by the way. Brace for impact. Damage report. Engines are critical. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Davis, put us down. Uh-oh. Okay, so they crashed on Pluto. Now let's go get some answers. Are you serious? Oh no, I'm staying in the ship. Oh snap. Uh oh. Uh oh. It might be that time. You don't get to choose how you make your money. You think you might be disloyal? If you were listening to this recording, forgive us. We're just trying to make our way in the universe. Oh, no. See? This is what I'm saying. Just what kind of experiments were they performing here? What the hell is going on? Uh-oh. Evidence of sabotage. Ooh! We've got company. Yeah, blow the whole ship up. Emergency lockdown protocols are in effect. Davis, come in. Uh oh. Do you copy? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Wait, December what? Watch out! Oh, I can't lie to you. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it comes out this year, December 19th. So that's literally next month. Please teach him. Wowzers, man. We got Alien, uh, basically Alien Isolation on uh, the VR. I mean, obviously, it's, it's an entirely different game and stuff like that, man. I haven't seen Alien Isolation in such a long time. And I think that, I think that actually, like, the first game that I've actually reacted to whenever I made, uh, made the change to, you know, uh, like, you know, react to games and cover all the big games and stuff like that. I think the first game that I actually recorded uh, was, I think it was like an Alien Isolation jump scare compilation. Man, I, I still remember that. I think it was about, what, two, three years ago? No, I, I think it's about two years ago. But, uh, man, this game, man, oh, my goodness. I think I remember, like, the first time me ever seeing somebody play this game because I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. I never played this game. And to this day, bro, I stay away from this game. Um, bro, I'm going to be real with you. I, I can't handle it. Like, I could play, like, a lot of, like, you know, scary games or whatever and get scared of them. But, bro, this game, and I'll say this, and maybe this is, like, my own personal belief or whatever. I know, like, a lot of you guys are, like, you know, freaks and stuff like that. You guys play scary games uh, just to play it. Like, you don't even play it with, like, a camera or nothing like that. You don't you don't play it for content. Uh, you guys just play these scary games, you know, with the door locked in the nighttime. And every time you get jump scared, you get, like, a little thrill, and you like it. That's that's what you guys like. I, I can't. I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, if I play a scary game, bro, it got to be for content. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I can never play a scary game just, like, not for the camera. You get what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, like, you know, not scared or nothing like that. It's just, like, maybe, like, you know, I, I feel like there's, like, a purpose. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> It's like it's like a purpose for me. Like if I have the camera on, like you like like right here, if I have the camera on whatever and I'm playing like the scary game, even though I get scared or whatever, I'm like, you know what? If I get scared, yes, cool, it's gonna give me a heart attack, but at the same time, it's for the entertainment of you guys or whatever. Uh it's for a video, you know, there's, there's like a bunch of pluses, you know, even though there are some negatives, you know, because I'm still getting scared and stuff like that. Um, there are a bunch of pluses. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I never really um like I never really like, you know knock down the idea of me playing scary games i believe i actually played resident evil uh 7 biohazard and man oh man i i think i think i guess jump scared what one or two times and man my heart came out of my body so that that was pre that was pretty surreal other than that uh we got alien isolation and in in, um basically in first person or like you know on vr and stuff like that um i definitely can't play that and the reason is bro listen i'm already like uh like whenever it comes to vr and stuff like that i I try to hide, like you know, try to like you know find fun games, like have fun at and stuff like that. Scary games in VR, bro, that's too much, bro. 
I feel like that's too much for your brain to handle. And, you know, listen, bro, like our heads, bro, we got like 73 terabytes of space in our head, bro. We can handle a lot of a, a, a lot of stuff. But to be honest with you, man, this this will cause data corruption. I'm going to just be completely honest with you, bro. Like legit. I, I'm, just, I'm just being. And but this is for me, though. Uh, you know, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if like, you know, all the scary game channels on YouTube would just load this up and play it on VR. I mean, yeah, it'll be cool for us to watch and stuff like that. But man, for me to play. Man, man, I, I'm gambling with my life at that point. <laughs> I'm gambling with my life at that point, man. Um, graphically, it, it does look very like VR-ish graphically, um, and that's again, that's not a bad thing. It's just like you can tell when a game is VR or not. Like you don't even have to like see uh, like the mechanics of it. You can just tell by the graphics or like you know that that a game is VR or not. Um, or maybe I can tell. Maybe I've just looked at so many game trailers that I can just tell. Uh, like you know what console it belongs to but man that's just me man um so yeah but to be honest with you like the actual like design of like the um of, of the actual design of like the aliens and stuff like that obviously it's the same thing as like alien isolation i actually wonder if this game is actually a part of the alien isolation series because if you guys don't know um same thing as batman um arkham shadow i think that's actually officially a part of the batman arkham series you know because it has batman arkham in the name and stuff like that so i don't know i'm assuming that you know it, it's a part of the series they like they have like the whole name and the title so uh i assume it's a part of the series and and if that's the case man i, I guess this is a part of the alien isolation series and stuff like that so i mean listen we'll see uh it comes out december 19th i was not expecting this game to come out this year i was definitely expecting like a few more trailers you know for this game to come out at least next year uh but it is coming out late um you know next month so I, you know I, i'm pretty excited about it maybe i'll take like uh, i'll check out some um vr alien isolation jump scares or something like that maybe i'll check some out but other than that man comment down below what do you guys think about this uh how, how do you guys think it looks um one thing i'll say that i'm, I'm that i'm actually impressed with is it kind of looks like the same game like 10 years ago that's actually not a bad thing for me uh, I, I think when it comes to games like Alien Isolation and, like, you know, a lot of scary games, you kind of don't want to, you know, get too far away from, like, the original thing that put the game on because I feel like that's going to lose a lot of people if you do that. Um, you, it's okay to improve onto something, but for you to totally remove that one thing that worked for you, I mean, I, it could work for some things, but at the same time, you know, it, it, it really doesn't work for some things. Like, it's kind of a risk, but comment down below, man. What do you guys think about the video? This is my sister, by the way. And peace out, everybody.